Hello everyone, my name is Tevin Alexander. My name is Cole Watson once again. And we're here to talk about web design, more specifically responsive web design. Yeah, um, so responsive web design is something that we're always talking about in the office. Um, basically, the gist of responsive web design is how it's, your website is going to respond to the various form factors that are out there. Cell phones, tablets, you know. Even the new Windows 8 computers are completely different than anything I've ever seen. But I think Tevin can talk us and tell us a little bit more about what exactly responsible web design is. Yeah, I, I made my first website in 1995 on a site called geocities.com. And uh, it was a really uh, creative site. And at the time, when you were making sites back then, it was just about making one website for desktop computers. That's really all there was. They had these huge CRT monitors and a huge desktop box that was your computer that ran slower than even uh, our phones today with less uh, fewer colors and all that stuff. And so now you have, you have uh, smartphones, you have Androids, uh, Android phones, iPhones, you have the iPad mini, iPad and the iPad with Retina display. You have laptops of all different sizes and by different manufacturers. And then you have uh, desktop computers with huge screens and then people watching uh, viewing websites on televisions. So responsive web design uh, meets the needs of consumers and of companies, uh, businesses wanting to communicate their information to consumers by making a website that is adaptable to these different types of screens. So people can get the information they're looking for. Yes, yeah, speaking of different types of screens. On their phones. Because, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, um, it's actually you know, good that this just came off. Because, yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is an iPhone 5. Um, it's probably what most of you guys are going to be getting for Christmas this year. That or an iPad mini. Not an iPhone 4, which came out two years ago and in this case is cracked. Uh, the iPhone 5 came out uh, a couple months ago. I think two at this point. And uh, that's, that's the new stuff happening right now. Yeah, but um, it's something that, you know, most of us don't take for granted, but you know, more and more these days we're using it. I hate to actually admit it, but I, I probably 50% of my drive time I am on this thing searching something online. Mom, you did not hear that, by the way. We don't encourage Cole to drive because he's always on his phone and there are a lot of cars on the road. But yeah. when he is driving, there's a 50% chance that he is using his iPhone 5. Yes, so says my ex-girlfriends as well, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, I mean, something most people don't take into account is exactly, you know, what your website looks like on a mobile device, be it a cell phone, an iPhone 5, be it any of the Android or um, Apple tablets we have out there. I mean, you know, more and more people are pulling out their phones on a daily basis and looking something up, and they're not taking into account what the website looks like. And you know, responsive design, my understanding, pretty much covers the whole gamut of tablets and smartphones. Yeah, responsive web design is a methodology. It's not just, can you make my site look good on an iPhone? It's, can you make the content of my site displayed intuitively and easily accessible by people using any type of device? It used to be that you just have a website and you're done. Uh, but now, really, when you launch a website, that's just the beginning. That's when you start marketing it, and you uh, do keyword research for SEO, and you, um, and before you launch it, you, you have this responsive web design kind of addressed beforehand, ideally. You can um, back uh, retrofit a website to be responsive after it's launched. But the point is, websites that are responsive are going to be the ones that uh, really drive business. I mean, that is so true because, I mean, I... Mom, again, turn away from the camera, turn away from the screen right now. I've been thinking about getting them a tablet for Christmas. My mom has never conformed to a computer. She barely knows how to turn the thing on. So I'm thinking an iPad mini would be the best thing for, you know, turn it on as all the support apps, the one button. She could easily do an email from that. She's not going to have a computer, you know, these com websites that were designed this year, some this year, last year and all the ones probably beforehand aren't going to be accessible to in a good, clear, concise format. And let's be honest, you know, design is 50% of anything when you go to a website, if not more. Yeah, and design is more than just the visual um, aesthetic of something, it's also the experience of it. And the advantage of the iPad or iPad mini for Cole's mother uh, is that the, or for anyone, um, is that the buttons are easy to press. It's, it's, easy, it's a computer that's easy to use, 
And websites that are responsive can be easy to use too if they're designed well, not just on how they look, but how the user is able to interact with the website. Yeah, and so I mean, one thing I've been thinking about, you know, especially me, I have an apartment here in Raleigh. Um, I keep thinking, you know, a lot of service professionals in general, I mean, that's something I always look up on my phone, on a tablet when I'm on the couch in front of the TV. And that's especially a field that I think could incorporate highly from, um, you know, responsible web designs. We have dentists, we have lawyers, we have, you know, the plumbers, the carpenters, you know. Stuff like that is going to be easily, you know, searched by a more elderly crowd. It, that's going to be going to these tablets, to these phones, and are going to be doing away from their computers at their home, I think. Yeah, and even um, the owner of crowd, who people who need a plumber, who, uh, people who live in an apartment, and they just happen to have a phone. Um, responsive web design reaches a cross section of society, and it's a valuable um, uh, a website that is responsive is valuable for a business for any type of business because it can only help the business grow and uh, help people find the information that they're looking for. So, are we really the only ones who use computers anymore? I don't know what a computer is, so it might just be your phone. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, guys, um, that's it for today's show. Um, as always, I'm Cole. And sometimes I'm Tevin. Yeah, you can always get a hold of us through email, um, through Facebook, through Twitter. But um, in particular, something we've been asking a lot of people to do is uh, reach out for us. We want to grab coffee and find out about you guys, you know, the people watching this at home. Love to know how we can help you guys. Even if you're watching this from a coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh,. We'll see you next time. Uh, bye, guys. Bye.